the, the last thing I would say about that, which is, again, to do with the creative process, is that there are similarities between fashion, film, the art world, and music, in the sense of the way that they're controlled. Fashion is unique for one reason. It does not allow criticism. It's, there's a kind of fascism. Uh, you could say a fascinista or a, a fascis fascism -nista. You know, they combine together. It is famous for if someone <coughs> dares to criticize a designer or something like that, that person will be, you can't come into the show. You know, and they will actually be picked upon and bullied and actually... If you want to come back in, you have to be on your knees and apologize. Mm -hmm. And don't write that, and don't write that. Now, the minute that happens to an aesthetic movement, it's screwed. Because without either self-irony or outside criticism, you cannot flourish. Because you have no um, concept of where you are. So, and that makes it different from, from every other industry. And the reason for that, of course, is that it has so much money involved and literally we're talking about 20 billion dollars a year or more whatever it is you know i read statistics all the time it's a lot of money and and you kind of think this is all about beauty aesthetic women men children and yet actually the thing that's screwing it is the amount of money that's behind it the ugly side of fashion i have no interest in the ugly side of fashion i am and will always be fascinated in the concept, the aesthetic of beauty and of creativity. And fashion, to me, remains vibrant under an incredibly talented um, designers who I know struggle to get into the club because, you know, again, it is a club and it's a closed shop. And so, um, in a way, to close the conversation, I'll say one of the reasons I work with Diane Pernay and her foundation is because she is starting something interesting, which is a way of highlighting through, let's say, the use of film. Because now, of course, film has become very important for fashion because of the internet. Every photographer now wants to be a filmmaker. Most of them are rubbish because they, they are obsessed with the, the perfection of one image and they know nothing about narrative. and They don't have the kind of energy about movement and so on. And ironically, I now get asked to help fashion photographers make films. And I think, fuck you. <laughs> fuck you. Ask me to make the film. You know, why should I help some doc who can't actually walk three steps in a row? You know, you know because he's famous, you know, and they recognize him as a fashionist, an image maker. There is so much kind of confusion about who's actually doing the good work here. Um, uh, anyway, I, I uh, applaud Diane for what she's doing. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> 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 